time. The party will be out in Indonesia, Japan, and Kilas, Filipinas. But don't go anywhere. We're set for tip. It's game time. And when Los Arbitros, they have La Paleta, business will start to pick up. Well, destiny has a date. Will Mexico be at the dinner table at the FIBA World Cup? We'll find out as we're going to get this party started. Tempo will be key now. Remember the first time these two teams met was back in 2018. Uruguay winning that game by three points. Suffocating defense coming from Luciano Parodi. It's quite a quick backcourt he's got there. Paco Cruz now, quick catch to shoot the corner, can't get it. Now already called this. I think they call this one against. That's oh, an interesting one. I think this one's going to be called against Batista. And Gabriel Hiron just hitting the deck very hard. Well, watch Gabriel Hiron tries to go. Well, I think he just gets sandwiched between both Batista. And Rodriguez. <laughs> Trying to get this one at bound now. Paco Cruz here in the backcourt. Kicks out, they go for a three and only three again and again. Mexico. Trying to force the issue for the perimeter. They just need to sell themselves at this game a little bit. Paco Cruz. Understand why they want to push the tempo as much as possible. You got to play together. Uruguay now. Batista down low against Ibarra. Goes up. Big man can't get it. He's out of bounds. That will be Uruguay ball. Yeah, tough defense there from Ibarra, making it very hard for Batista. Question is if he's going to be able to do this for the majority of the game. Batista now looking for the isolation, trying to make his way. Seven on the shot clock now. Better going to work. That's going to be a traveling violation. No. Foul court against Ibarra. I thought there was going to be a travel call there, but yeah, no shooting foul. Baseline ball here to Uruguay. Trying to use a ball screen now. Looking for the big bad mismatch. Turns it over. Good defense. And Mexico now with another chance here to get the first two points, maybe three points in the game. This is a team that likes to light it up in the perimeter. Get on now, heavily got it. Comes up on bull screen. Goes back to Ibarra. Goes in, beautiful little one-two there. But to Gabriel, get on. Well, GG finding. Ibarra going straight to the bucket. Uruguay now. Yeah, no chance of qualifying. The only thing they can do is try to ruin the party here tonight. Rodriguez has the three-pointer, steps back, takes a tough one. Way off the mark, doesn't get it. Stoll coming up one ball screen, pulls up for quick three, three is up and again. Nobody going in for an offensive rebound. Walking on is on the weak side. Probably all he needs to do is run into that one again. Little great shot to Uruguay. Shooting very poor, of course, in the early stages. It's a good look there. Came off the ball screen. Got himself set at about 16 feet, but he's got to try and knock that one down. 10 here for Mexico. Can they break this down? But out mid range. He'll take it. It's a problem there with five players out. Again, nobody making any effort going for an offensive rebound. Back to a play. Beautiful pass. Reverse layup. Time coming. The layup is made by Gondalo Iglesias. Six 
was given by Martin Rojas. That's going to be 13th out here against Uruguay in the first quarter. Cruz now getting a handoff. Ibarra trying to go to the big man, takes his deflection. Mexico trying to get their movements right here, trying to get the Uruguay defense to shift a little bit. Ibarra now. Blitz against pocket pick, stole. Give me up one more pass. Hit on, quick three, takes it. Keep it out. Offensive rebound. That's much better. And that's what Mexico needs. Somebody to go in for the offensive rebounds. Put Uruguay under a bit of pressure. Well, that was a veteran there getting caught out. Not boxing out. Josua, Ibarra. Ibarra making the first free throw. Making it two for two. Yeah, Uruguay. Rodriguez trying to cherry pick. Can he finish? No, he can't. Ibarra gets back. Yeah, Rodriguez keeps it alive. That goes out of bounds. Iraq throws it down with two handed jam for the one two punch between Gabriel Hiron and Yosua Ibarra punishing Uruguay in every possession. Uruguay now with only one field goal so far. The foul is going to be called against. Pull stole off the ball, the heavy denial against Rodriguez. Two handed flush by the big man. Grande, Yosua. Muy grande. Throw it down, big man. And this is a kick out now. Can they get the three going through? It's way off the mark. Mexico now looking to pile the pressure on. Stole now. Gets a switch on defense. Cross for Pines, get on. Ron step back, fadeaway, takes it, nails it. And Gabriel Heron, who now has played the shoot, but also can't put the ball on the floor. Six point lead to Mexico. Just under halfway to go here in the first quarter. Goes in, it's got to be a charging call, surely. Rodriguez left wide open, he'll take the three. Easily nail that one. Well, they said they didn't call an offensive foul against Batista. Clearly knocked over Gabriel Heron and tried to take the charge. Ron now looking to isolate. Trying to go to work there. Then he contact, doesn't get it. The fight over the rebound. And now Mexico lose possession. Uruguay cut it down to one point and take the lead in a three pointer. Going now to Batista, trying to work his way, bullies his way straight to the bucket. The veteran, 39 years of age, taking Joshua Ibarra straight to La Escuela. Cruz goes in, he draws a contact, and Paco will go to free throw line. One of the two shots of foul is going to be called against. Uruguay's number 42, Martin Rojas. Paco Cruz currently playing for Manisa in the Turkish Basketball Super League. Spent last season playing for Tovash Bursa. Makes the second one, making it a two point ball game. Uruguay now trying to go to Batista. Trying to go for that matchup. Batista going all the way. Again, a slight deflection, I think. 
Now can Mexico capitalize? Still not trying to find the gaps back to Ibarra. Kicks out, another wide open three. Three is up, and again, way off the mark. Mexico again, still struggling for the perimeter. After making only 23s of the night. As the reach goes all the way. It's Batista. Uruguay. It's how the game. Oh, no, they take the lead, actually. With the second trade was Parodi. Punishes Mexico's defense. Kako Cruz now. Looks like a mid range shot. Ibarra trying to fight for the offensive rebound. Can't come up with it. Stole. He'll take a three. He'll fire it. Again, Mexico with another offensive rebound. Now committed. That's going to be five team fouls against Uruguay. So two free throws coming up here for Paul Stone. Change coming into the game here for Uruguay. So Rodriguez leaves the game. So coming in now is Augustin Ubal. And he plays in the ACB four. Santa Bilbao also in the basketball Champions League. Stone just making the first free throw. Time this game up. Matt originally from Detroit, Michigan. Makes them both. Well, another deep threat again. Uruguay coming out like a house on fire. And this is not going to be a walk in the park here for Mexico. Stoll tries another three. He fires it again. Just can't get it going. It's a lot of early three point attempts coming from Mexico. Only with the hot hands. Only now step back. Hail Mary three. Are you kidding me? Uruguay. Again, they cannot miss. Confidence in this team. Remember, if Mexico lose, they could possibly still qualify. But that would mean both Brazil and Puerto Rico would have to lose. So now we're under 10 here on the shot clock. Paco uses the ball screen. He'll pull up another three-pointer. Three is up. No good. And a good transition. Can Uruguay capitalize on the basket? Oh, missed it. That would have been. Seven point dead lead for Uruguay. Team that cannot qualify for the FIBA World Cup. But all they could do is cancel the Mexican Fiesta. Behind this now, dribbling into trouble. Under the basket, finds the run. That's much better. Mexico getting things going inside the paint. Too easy. It's Augustino Bowles, first field goal here tonight. This crossover now goes up, kicks out, big three. Got it! Big time three pointer. Well, Uruguay, so many cool electricians. This team is shooting the lights out. Five to seven from the perimeter. Now, Mark Hintero's got a cool timeout. His team may be the thought of the party. The celebrations, maybe it's getting a little bit to the head. Horn side. Jorge. Gabriel. 45. Paco aquí. Ok. Vamos a tratar de ir aquí con, con Gabriel. Y sale Paco. Hey, tenemos, tenemos, estamos en bonus, güey. Ok. La que sigue. You say to Josh by Josh. Come and set the screen for, for uh, Jorge. En attack. Ok. Hey, guys. Come on, man. Energy. 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 Mexico is going to be a collective effort right now. They need to make sure 
Let me stop the Uruguay perimeter shooting. I mean, Uruguay getting so many open looks. As you mentioned, five for seven so far from the perimeter. Mexico overnight from downtown. I can get Mexico. Jorge Gutierrez. Uruguay only has one offensive rebound while Mexico with four. That could be one stat. But they have an underlying factor in this game. Hey, hey. Gutierrez checking in, finding Huron. Trying to post his way up now. Finally, Gutierrez goes to the mid-range. What's up? Let's get the tip on it. No good. And Uruguay can make this a double-season lead. Eight five threes. Why not go for it? Potential two for one here for the Uruguayans. Good hands now. Pass it right down low. Ubal goes up. Doesn't get the ammo up. He'll go to the free throw defensively. Mexico is very disorganized at the moment. It's a bit of a soft out of giveaway there from Joshua Ibarra. Ibarra goes to the bench, takes a breather, as he makes a second personal foul. Well, coming into the game here for Mexico, number 25, Israel Gutierrez. He's now listening to Bauer. He has a chance to make a 10 point lead, which nobody would have seen coming here in this game, but. Credit to Uruguay, competing hard. The other teams. Now what's interesting here is any team in this group that's competing for one of the spots in the FIBA World Cup. So Mexico, Puerto Rico, and Brazil. Any one of them lose, everybody competing in the other group will qualify. Argentina, we got an ankle break here. Cruz, three takes it. Well, out of you time, muchos gracias. Well, he went for the three-pointer, and Hiran just got the lob. The question is, does Cruz get the assist? I think he does. Ubao now steps back. Hiran not making any effort to fight around the screen. And now it's an 11-point ball game. Mexico can try to get the last shot. And Gutierrez tries another three. Three is up. And finally, he gets something going from downtown. It's a huge three point up. One second left. Bow. Almost got it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first quarter, Uruguay leads one by eight points against Mexico. It's going to be very interesting to see how this game plays out. We'll show you some stats and some highlights here from the first quarter. Well, that was a give and go play here. Beautiful play by Josue Ibarra. Just trying to get things going early on the low block. But credit to Uruguay. That perimeter shooting has been a big difference in this game. Uruguay currently 6 for 9 from downtown, shooting the lights out. And there was Ibarra just trying to get his groove going very early on. That perimeter shooting has been the underlying factor. Six of them really has been causing problems. Now, if they get this going, it could be a problem for Mexico. But, you know, if you are Argentina, Dominican Republic, you got to be thinking, any of these teams lose, you'll all be going through. There's courtside 1891. Get the live streams for the upcoming to tournaments this summer. We have the FIBA Women's Euro Basket, but also the Men's World Cup, the FIBA World Cup, which will be hosted in Japan, Indonesia, and Gilas, Filipinas.
Cambio en México, número 13, Orlando Méndez. Orlando Mendez checking into the game here. Mendez was a member of the team that defeated the USA on both occasions in 2021 and in 2018. Veteran player, of course. Uruguay, five on the shot clock. Got to get something going. It's going to be a traveling violation, surely. Still made the shot, but to no avail. Mexico going to a dribble handoff. He run now, turn around, fade away, takes it. Doesn't get it, goes out of bounds. That will be Uruguay ball. Keeping you updated with the scores in the other game. United States currently down by six to Brazil. Puerto Rico up five against Colombia. I remember if any of the two teams, three teams, so Brazil, Puerto Rico, and Mexico, if any of them lose, that will automatically mean Argentina, Dominican Republic, Venezuela will qualify for the FIBA World Cup. Six teams going for five spots, two automatic spots, and in the highest third place finish. And obviously, Group B, the teams are much stronger there in terms of the results they've had in the records, which is the reason why the highest fourth place finish in that group will be the person who goes through. So if Mexico loses that game, this game, does all those teams what world winner favors. And draws a blocking foul. Like, oh, two shots, I believe. So Jaime Gutierrez will go to the free throw line, the former Brooklyn Nets player. Well, that's a smart move there, so... Well, no, not two shots, baseline ball, so, okay, interesting. Trying to get the ball in that, finding Gutierrez. Mendez just avoiding stepping out of bounds. Turns it over, though. Now Uruguay can push. Your step in the lane, reverse slip. Draws the foul, will go to the free throw line, Mexico. At the moment, it just seemed like they're in all sorts of chaos. We'll carry the free throw line here for the Uruguayans. Number 66, Ignacio Nacho Ingavie. We just checked in the game so far here in the second quarter. Mr. Both. Rebound secured. Mendes now looking to attack the basket. We'll have the layup. Reverse goes and gets rejected. Well, Bouse says no in Mikasa. Gets it back now. Mendes pump fakes. That's going to be a kickball violation. Well, Bow 2 no Ennis. Bienvenido. Aquí en Montevideo, baby. Get that one out of here. Well, back to a play. Goes here one more time. Well, we got a bloqueo party. Una fiesta de los bloqueos. That will be a goaltending violation. So two points here to Mexico. Obao goes all the way to get simply unstoppable. He just plays at a different speed, different tempo. Now it's back to an eight-point ball game. Gutierrez now curls the screen, draws the contact. He'll go to the free throw line here for two shots. That's not a bad move. Another way Mexico could try to get themselves back in this game. 
Gutierrez makes the free throw. And that's his first personal foul now. Six point ball game, 7.49 to go. Just a little bit overzealous on that one. Got to be clever. They don't want it. Bonilla coming into the game. Mexico don't want to pick up too much foul trouble. It is a six-point ball game. Uruguay. Okay, trying to break this down. There's a turnover. Gutierrez comes up with it. Gutierrez all the way. Too much on it again. Out of control. He felt he was going to get fouled. Another foul has been committed. That's going to be a 13 foul for Mexico with 7:33 to go here in the second quarter. Foul is called on the veteran, Orlando Mendez. One screen now, step back, Rubal, three pointer takes it, way off the mark. Now they can cut this down to a two possession game. Gutierrez down the middle again, turns it over, but gets it right back. Mexico need a little bit of order here in their offense. Contact goes in, draws a foul. He'll go to the free throw line for two shots, but it's very chaotic basketball from Mexico. Uruguay has only four turnovers. Mexico, ironically, has only one, which is quite interesting. The difference is Mexico only six for 14 for inside the rainbow, one for 11. We got a timeout now as coach Entrenador Magnano wants to talk it over with his players of Uruguay. Let's go and listen to what he has to say. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you saw the QR code there for Courtside 1891. Make sure you subscribe to get all the latest action. It was the official platform for the big FIBA tournaments this summer with the FIBA Women's Zero Basket, which will be hosted in Israel and Slovenia in July. And of course, we also have the FIBA Vassal Men's World Cup, which these teams are competing for. Uruguay can't get there. They've already been eliminated based on the poor shown results. But Mexico, if it stays like this, they won't be going. Now remember, in this group, Group F, three teams competing for the spot, Brazil, Puerto Rico, Mexico. One of these teams lose, and all the three teams competing in the other group, Venezuela, Argentina, Dominican Republic, they will all automatically qualify based on their strong results and having the highest fourth place finisher. It's a bit of a careless foul there by Gutierrez. And there's no need to reach like that. Let's go baseline now. We're down the middle again. Uruguay, 10 on the shot clock. Again, a little bit too fancy, but a kickball violation has been called.
Uruguay effectively now trying to move the ball. Mid six series, can they make it seven? Parodi, corner, get this guy making it rain. Or as they would say in Spanish, I say Chueve. It's back to a seven point ball game. Fresh has been coming all night long here from the Uruguayans. Mendez, crossover, three points, still can't get it. Gutierrez now batting for the rebound, throws it out of bounds. It's not looking good for Mexico in terms of body language. But there's plenty of time in this game to turn it around. Now will be the second turnover collectively as a team tonight. We'll pull for another deep three. Three is up, no good. This one, Mexico need to push the transition. Tries to foul. He'll go to the free throw line. Bonilla making things happen. Well, two free throws now coming for Bonilla. Getting a chance for Yahia Bonilla and Mexico. Yeah, just rattles out. Okay, he's been very much a group player here. Stands at 204 centimeters, playing for Capitanes in the NBA G League. The Mexican base team averages 4.3 points per game here in the qualifiers. The most free throws he made was against Colombia. He played 24 minutes, and that was the most amount of time he played. Now it's a six-point ball game. Washman left wide open. Doesn't get it. With just too much dribbling there. I mean, why not use a ball screen? Mexico just complicating it for themselves. Paco Cruz had the screen, but decided not to use it. Uruguay again turned it over. Well, that's much better for Cruz there, just split the defense down, drawing the fouls. And he'll go to the free throw line. He can cut it down to a four-point ball game. Well, currently, as we mentioned, playing in Turkey this season for Manisa. is Joaquin Rodriguez checking back into the game. We had a phenomenal season in the basketball Champions League last year with Tofaj Bursa. Been one of the key players so far here for Mexico. Makes the second one now. Four point deficit. Five minutes to go here in the second quarter. Uruguay trying to pull off the big upset. Rodriguez down, goes in with a fang roll, draws it down. He'll go to the free throw line. Foul is on Fabian Jaime, so it's be interesting now to see how Mexico try to go about themselves in the final five minutes. It's about playing collectively, being together, of course. Made his debut for Uruguay against the United States in the 2019 FIBA World Cup qualifiers, which he played on the road in Las Vegas. It's been an emphatic defeat, of course, but. Finds Paco now. Paco loses balance. Again, draws another foul. Cruz will go back to the free throw line. Thank you. 
Okay, one thing Uruguay needs to try and keep his Mexico off the free throw line. Uruguay have been four for six in charity stripes so far, but at the moment, Mexico 13 for 15. Shooting 86 percent. One thing that's kept him in this game. Paco makes another one. Batista trying to force his way and has a mismatch. That's going to be a foul day long. And then, I'll ask the question, Gutierrez, I mean, if he's struggling there, he's got to call for a double team or something. But, well, they have Yasua Ibarra on the bench, but he has two fouls, I think. Omar Quintero, unless he's going to make the change now, will probably try to save Ibarra for the second half. Batista makes the first free throw, and he spent some good years playing all over the globe. Played in the CBA in China, a lot of his time in Europe as well, in places like Italy, Turkey. One of another key places, he played two seasons for the Atlanta Hawks from 2005 to 2007 as he misses the second free throw. Pulstow checking back into the game for Mexico. Paco now double cross of all the way, reverse slam. Are you kidding me? Paco está trabajando in la cancha. Well, nice shake and bait there for Paco Cruz. Uruguay only leading by three now. Another three pointer, wide open, doesn't get it. Mexico just trailing by three. Stoll's got Bonilla with it. Bonilla down the middle, hangs in the end, doesn't get it. Very, very soft finish there from Bonilla. Another turnover. Still coming off one screen, kicking this out, getting a handoff. Well, hasn't made a three yet. Can he get it this time? Yes, he does. Stoll tying the game up, 34 apiece. And maybe now. The tables are turning on these groups. Rodriguez on the basket. Restores a little bit of order, just getting it to rattle in. And Mexico down by two points. They can take the lead with a three-pointer. And there's another foul. So Rodriguez sending Fabian Jaimez to the free throw line. That's a bit of a careless one. I'm not sure if you foul Paco Cruz or Jaimes. But another chance we mentioned. Mexico 14 for 16 from the charity stripe. And for this Paco Cruz, he's 5 for 6 this evening. Make that 6 for 7. Just gets it to rattle out. Six frame for Paco Cruz. Still a one point lead to Uruguay. Met by Mexico. If they lose this game, they would need both Puerto Rico and the United States to lose. And there's a turnover now. Trying to go in Eurostep all the way. Bonilla with a banger roll. That's what I like to call the Mexico Euro Bonilla step. Rodriguez now. And this turnover comes up with it. Now, what do we have here in the lane? A little another thing roll. This time it's Paco. And now Magnano is going to go timeout here for Uruguay. And this is unbelievable. Truly just fantastic basketball watching at the moment. Well, 
Well, let's go and listen to what Coach Magnano has to say to his players. As now they trail by three points. States losing, of course, to Brazil, which, you know, if Mexico was still losing this game, they would need both Puerto Rico and Brazil to lose. But look at this, Bonilla, finding Paco Cruz up behind the back dime. That is special, that is a nice move. Two minutes to go now. Mexico retaking the lead at the moment. I think they're going to call another foul here. So this is going to be two free throws. Well, Uruguay, the foul is going to be called against Paul Stoll. Baseball free throws now, putting it back to a one-point ball game. Huge possession. Well, Bonilla looks for options, kicks out the pull stall. Still finding Paco Cruz. Heavily defended by Parodi on this one. Back to stall, pump fake, step back, three, takes it. Can he get the roll? No, he can't. That's going to be a lot of bounds. That will be Mexico ball. Paco goes in, and again, Paco just finishes it, making a three-point lead. And Uruguay, again, looking to tie this one up. Bow now, son of Bilbao playing, takes it, doesn't get it. A bit of a forced effort. Potential two for one here for Mexico. If they get a score here, and again, it's going to be another trip to the free throw line. So Uruguay just lose the discipline. Well, if that was cool against Rojas, that's his third personal foul. So I imagine he's going to have to leave the game. So you probably don't want him to get into any more foul trouble. Cruz makes the free throw. Well, so far, only three missed free throws for Mexico. Should be very impressive. 16, 17 for 20, excuse me. So he gets a second one to drop. And now it's a five point ball game here to Mexico. Batista now look for a mismatch. Trying to take Gutierrez, goes in, off the backboard, can't get it. Mexico coming on loose ball. Stoll keeping his dribble alive. Finding Fabian Jaimez now, looking for a post up. Jaimez down the middle, finding Gutierrez, goes up, gets the M1, count it, and he'll go to the free throw line. Well, that's a beautiful play there, just getting it under the basket. The dime coming from Jaimes. <laughs> and 
And capitalize, make the three-point play. Now it's an eight-point lead here to Mexico. They've turned this around big time. And Don now looking to get these going. Go for a double crossover. Nowhere to go here. Suffocating defense. For some a Hail Mary shot. He's out of bounds in Mexico. At the end of the first half, Mexico have turned this game around and could be turning their fortunes around as well for that matter. And what a big turnaround here in the second quarter. They were trailing by double digits. Now they lead by eight. 160 games for Esteban. Batista. They want to make sure he finishes his last game on a very high note. Well, there are the stats in the game. Mexico 11 for 20 from an inside the rainbow. Uruguay 50% for the perimeter, but didn't get things going too well to end the second quarter. Mexico dominating the rebounds, as you can see, 22 to 15. And one more assist, four more steals for that matter. Let's take a look at the top scores from this game. Cruiser 14. Followed up by Gabriel Giron and Ibarra. Let's take a look at the highlights now. Mexico lead by eight. Guess what? Ibarra. Ibarra has been a big difference in this game. I mean, he has a strong post set, but there's a lot of problems. Fade away by Gabriel Hiron. Eight points so far here in the first half for Hiron. And there was the Hell Mary three from No Man's Land from Parodi. Oh, deep, deep three cone, of course. And he just got to keep trying to pile the pressure now. Uruguay, if they can continue to get these going for the perimeter, could be a good night for them. That's going to be the key factor is how well the perimeter shooting continues to keep going. And Uruguay keeps it going. This will be their night. But again, if Mexico keeps piling back, lead it by eight. The tickets this summer to Japan, Indonesia, and Gilles Pilipinas will definitely going in their favor. And this is the fadeaway three pointer. Stole nail in that one. That was the first three pointer for Stole. Again, if he gets his confidence going, there's a lot of problems there as Rodriguez trying to respond again very quickly down the other end. It's no avail now, but look at the transition play here. Bonilla going in with the Latino step. Again, Latino Mexico, the no look pass. We'll be back for the second half momentarily. Who will you become when the moment arrives? And you're carrying the expectations of the entire nation, representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands. It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. Ogilvy. Behind the back! What an assist! You won't see a better pass out of the post than that this weekend anywhere in the world. What a play! 
to the buzzer here. Cherry looking to go to work. Three on the shot clock. Gets it away. Cherry knocks it down. Is there a time? No, not quite. And good defense from Panama. Straight down the middle for a throwdown. Nice pass. Tony Bishop Jr. flying through the air, number 23. Into the hands of Jorge Gutierrez. He'll fire it up from way downtown to beat the buzzer. Jorge Gutierrez said, give me the ball and throws it up. Nothing but net. Oh, that's too nice. He's pulling all the strings here. Campazzo. I can't quite believe what they've seen. Mendes drives to the middle, throws it up. Oh, my goodness, along the baseline. Bonilla is lurking. Crashes one on the rims here in Colombia. And Jordan, are you kidding me? The second time in the game. Jordan Howard with a chance for four-point play. He's already had one four-point play. Nice pass, and the two-handed jab through the contact. What a finish from Khalif Young with the monster dunk. Put his man on a poster. It's a great pass from Phil Scrub. And then, oh, Rock came between the legs to the reverse. Magical, wonderful, Romario Rocky. Wonderful handle so far in this game. Waters, four seconds on the shot clock. Waters puts it up from the elbow. Guys, you are kidding me, right at the buzzer. Tremont Waters has won the game for Puerto Rico. It's heartbreak city for Brazil. What a finish.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's the second half of this FIBA World Cup qualifying matchup. Now, judging by the other results that we've seen around, remember the six teams competing for five spots. Well, make sure you download the official FIBA World Cup qualifying app to customize your experience right from 
the qualifiers up until the 2023 FIBA World Cup. We'll give you the results so far in the other games. Venezuela losing 30 to 37 to really qualify Canada. Venezuela need to qualify. Argentina, Dominican Republic also need to qualify. Argentines winning 42 to 35. Brazil currently leading the United States by four, 39 to 35. Obviously, Mexico leading this one, turning around with an eight point lead. And Colombia, Puerto Rico is all tied a piece of 41. If the results, of course, Colombia, Puerto Rico would need to change. Were to change. For example, Puerto Rico was to take the lead over Colombia. The teams that would go through would be Argentina, Brazil, Mexico, Puerto Rico, Colombia, and that would leave Dominican Republic, the team that would be eliminated. But that could change. We're gonna get things underway here in the second half. Bonilla on the court along with Jaimez, Paco Cruz Alvarez, and Gutierrez with a small lineup. Three is up, no good. Uruguay come up with a loose ball. Rodriguez now trying to get things going. Okay, can't get it going in the basket. He said he gets fouled. It's going to be a third foul against him. That could be costly. Last game is going to play now for Uruguay. 160 performances. He now moves up to five points here tonight. He's now driven up to the defense. It's going to be a kickball violation, which does mean Mexico will get it back with a fresh 14 on the shot clock. Ismael, Israel Gutierrez come back in as Ibarra. They're going to need him in the game because Gutierrez doesn't have a good matchup against Batista in the low block. So if you're Uruguay, you're going to want to try and capitalize it. Stole, step back three, takes it, doesn't get it. Down the lane now, Ubao gets his pocket pick. Now they got numbers. He wants a two on one. Gabriel goes in, Fangroll, and tucks it away. And no foul called. I don't think he's worried too much. I think he just wants to get on with it. Late point lead here to Mexico. Deep three, Rodriguez takes it over the backboard. Well, ay Dios mío, que es posible. La pelota. Well, somebody needs to get that one down is Rodriguez. Mexico, I tell you, well, hopefully the camera isn't broke well. Muchos gracias. Increíble. Eight point lead to Mexico. Well, got an ankle breaking now. Stole being guided by Ubal. Get on down the middle, goes in, draws a foul. Gabriel, get on. A little free throw line here for two shots, gets a bit of a shot to the elbow. Sharp shooters, Gabriel, get on. And when he gets it going from the perimeter, he can be one of the most, well, the toughest player to defend here, that's for sure. Oh, 
Bow now coming off one screen, gets blocked. Mexico, why did they let that go? They could have grabbed that one. And Amaki Taro is infuriated with his plays. They just allowed the ball to roll out. And they probably could have grabbed it. A very poor choice there from the Mexican players. Could that come back to haunt them? Well, gets his pocket pick. Good defense. Again, another one there. Well, good hustle by Pulstall. Paco trying to go baseline. Iran's got a flash of the baseline. Three takes it. Tres puntos. Por favor, Senor Gabriel. Iran with a big time three pointer. Well, that three pointer makes a 12 point ball game. Mexico may be starting to believe in themselves. Rodriguez coming up one screen. He'll step back close to the three pointer. Can't get it. The rebound has been secured. Who's now running around a few screens, double crossover. Diving on the floor, a few seconds left. Got to shoot it. Jaimez puts it up. Doesn't get it. Bow goes in, hangs the air, bit of contact, rolls in and out. Doesn't get the lucky roll. Well, Runs six and a half to go. This way now kicks out the Cruz. Cruz from downtown, front eye and can't get it. Let's go for another three point again. Uruguay gets the offensive rebound, count it, and he'll go to the free throw line for the three point play. Martin Rojas came up with the offensive rebound. <laughs> just punished. Mexico for not boxing them out. This is a huge three pointer. <laughs> Martin Rojas can't make this a three point play, but makes this one. Doesn't get it. So it's going to be possession back to Mexico. Leading by 10 points. And Gutierrez back in the game now. Getting this one up to Jaimes. Mexico seven here on the shot clock. Who's now got a force up. Hell Mary three. In and out, can't get it. Uruguay comes down to single digits. Parodi for three. He'll take it at Parodi. Hitting a big time triple. And emotionally, that just keeps Uruguay in this game. And the Uruguay in the second quarter did have a 10 point lead, but Mexico battling back. We got a timeout now. So Omar Quintero wants to go with his plays. Okay, we well, here's a three pointer by Luis Parodi. That's a deep, deep three pointer. Coming down a seven point ball game. Remember, they're trailing by 12. Uruguay not out of this one by any means, but they got to believe in themselves. <laughs> Trying to put full court pressure against Mexico. Already suffocating defense against Gutierrez. 
Gutierrez, no problem breaking down the pressure. He's now down the middle. It's a little teardrop. And again, strong move by Gutierrez. Well, Jorge Gutierrez. Again, after making that shot, he now moves up to eight points. Another three-pointer. Paroni está fuego. Well, making big time three-pointers. 17 points here for Luciano Paroni. And again, Uruguay. More pressure here. That's the ninth three-pointer of the night. Nine for 19, another turnover for Mexico. <laughs> Parodi, tres puntos, si, sí, senor. He's got a hot hand now. They don't want to let him have a shot. That's another one. Can't get it. Now Mexico can try to push this. Gutierrez now running off a few screens. I mean, I'm just getting a hand off with Paco Cruz. Jorge for a deep three. Three is up, and the three is good. Quintero now happy with his players. Remember, they're renowned for shooting a lot of three points in their games. Batista looking for a post up now. Find the mismatch. Let's go in the corner. Rodriguez, another three. Rodriguez six it. Now we got a cookout here. These two teams exchanging three point field goals. This is back and forth between them. Well, if we look at the stats right now. Nine three-pointers, well, 10 for Uruguay. At the moment, four for Mexico. Like the plus 20 they had the other night. You run now, Hail Mary three. Are you kidding me? Esta seguro. Well, that is just unbelievable. You run, firing it from the VIP section. Why not Gutierrez? Let it go, let it go. Doesn't get it. Nine point ball game. Cruz down the middle, your step goes in, can't get it. That's going to be out of bounds now, will be Uruguay ball. Well, that is a deep, deep through. Somebody explain to me the confidence of this man. Back now, Rodriguez, there's a kick out. Well, Rojas wide open, doesn't get it. Really Batista going for an offensive rebound. Nine point lead hit uh, Mexico. Another foul has been committed. This one's gonna be against Rojas. Rojas doesn't want to get into too much foul trouble, of course. 2.14 to go here in the third quarter. The problem there is Paco Cruz is such a very crafty player. I mean, he reads the defense so well. Maybe not the most athletic play, but what he does, he knows where the front foot of each defender is. He just attacks it at will. Slight delay in game we have at the moment. Down to the substitutions of these players coming in and out of the game. The shot is up, no good. Now Mexico here, trying to battle back. Well, turn it over now, Uruguay could chip into the deficit. Parodi, another three. My goodness, 
Did you ever doubt this man? His confidence, he is simply on fire. Six for six from the perimeter. He just cannot miss. An offensive foul is going to be called. Mexico starting to lose their way a little bit. Brody almost throws the ball away. There's a penetration now. Tries to dish off to Batista, turns it over. That was a bit of a poor attempt there. Six point lead to the Mexicans. Bonilla back in the game as the foul is on set. F. Gutierrez now looking to attack, mid-race, takes it, front eye, can't get it. Another shot here from Uruguay. Now, can't try to off the perimeter, but probably need to get things going inside here with Batista. Mexico with no more fouls to give. Near 10 the shot clock now for Mexico. Under the basket. Oh my goodness! Well, that is officially Buenas Noches. Again, an offensive foul, a careless one to give away. Overzealous possession there. It will be possession back to Mexico. 34.9 seconds left. Well, Magnano again just analyzing what to do with his team moving forward because the next thing for them will be the FIBA America qualifiers. 10 seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock. The foul has been committed, so two free throws coming up. For Mexico, that was up against Iglesias. Well, Fabian Jimenez now at the free throw line here for Mexico. Missed the first free throw. And currently playing the Capitanes in the NBA G League, where he's averaging 5.8 points per game. Substitutes coming in now. Still a nine point lead to Mexico. They've turned this game around. Parodi with a hot end now. Six seconds difference between game clock and shot clock. Parodi kick out one more pass. Rodriguez teardrop. Can he get it? No, he can't. But the offensive rebound by Batista. Mexico got time here. Three seconds left. Hopcourt takes it. He doesn't get it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the third quarter, Mexico lead by seven. We'll show some stats and some highlights, but also keep you up to date with how the scores are going in the other games. Well, currently, the end of the third quarter, Colombia all tied a piece, 60 with Puerto Rico. The United States. Did turn it around against Brazil, but they're currently down by two points. They're halfway through the third quarter. There are the stats from our games. I'm going to keep you updated. Argentina still leading against the Dominican Republic. Canada have an eight-point lead against Venezuela. There's a deep three coming from Gabriel. Get on now. you got to think for all these T teams. 
win the games, and you'll qualify. It's as simple as that. And there's a deep three shooting coming from Matiado Parodi. Well, Gutierrez again is just such a creative player, but at times he does become a little bit of a liability to his team because either he over dribbles or makes sometimes a little bit too reckless of a pass. Well, there is the QR code for Courtside 1891. Make sure you subscribe to get all the best streams. Live you coming this summer. FIBA Women's Euro Basket along with the FIBA Basketball World Cup. It'll be this summer on Courtside 1891. Mexico wins here tonight. You'll be joining them on Courtside 1891 for the 2023 FIBA World Cup. Make sure you get the best subscription, streams, and schedules. We're live on Courtside 1891. Well, Uruguay can have a change here. Remember, if any of these teams in Group B lose. Right. Inglés is Osimani Rodriguez on the court along with Batista and Parodi. Batista goes in, count it, and it'll go to the free throw line. Well, he has a chance now to cut this down to a four point ball game. Well, Ismael Gutierrez just kind of got him. It's as simple as that. Make the three-point play here. Can't capitalize. Five-point ball game. Bonilla, Jaimez, Gutierrez, Mendez. And Gutierrez on the floor for Mexico. Bonilla goes up. Jaimez open three, way off the mark. And Parodi comes up with it. Crisscrossing over now, looking for an option. And back to Batista, turns it over, sloppy possession. Now 9.08 to go here in the fourth. Goes in the lane, wrap around, Iceman, finger roll by Jorge Gutierrez. Back to a seven-point ball game. He now moves up to 11. That was a huge play by Jorge Gutierrez. And we're going to dish this one out now. Kicks out. Three is up. Three is good. Well, this game, far from over. Four-point ball game. Gutierrez steps back, another three-point, doesn't get it. They're going to call foul against Fabian Hymas. Well, Hymas trying to say he got fouled there, but the referee is not having any of it. Uruguay now can cut this down to one possession game. Parodi, don't want to let him shoot the ball. There's a fadeaway in the lane off the backboard. Can't get it. Well, 
According to the traffic now, Hyman's on the basket, the reverse slam. They just get to kiss off the backboard. We'll do the confidence a lot of good now. Still making a six-point ball game. Parodi's got to make this one. Yes, he does. This guy is a walking ATM machine. Con el dinero. El señor dinero. Three-point ball game. Uruguay trying to get back in this. Uruguay believing slowly but surely. This is going to be big now. Seven minutes to go here. Mexico need to get something going. Stole with a few seconds left. In the lane, find Jaimes. Bounce pass goes up, throws it down. Muchos gracias, Senor Bonilla, with a one-handed jam. Well, makes it a five-point ball game. That's a huge dunk by Bonilla. Another D3-3 three, three is up, and Uruguay, well, again, they're not missing. Mexico's got to do something else here defensively, because now it is a two-point ball game. This is truly unbelievable. Deep three by Stoll. Stoll responded down the other end, and now it's becoming a cookout. 14 three pointers come for Uruguay, six for Mexico. But do they have enough here to get them over the final hurdle? Five point lead to the Mexicans. Batista now, a few seconds left. Draws a foul. The foul's been called. That's going to be a 13 foul against. Well, now, Ibarra comes back into the game. And this will be interesting to see how he matches up because he has three fouls. This Ro Gutierrez is just going to struggle to match up with him defensively. That being, there's a tear drop way off the mark. That one was going nowhere near the basket. Paco now under 10 the shot clock. And the foul is going to be cool here against Uruguay. Six seconds were left on the shot clock. Had to probably commit that one, of course, but probably didn't need to commit it with such haste, probably. Could have been a little bit more patient. Trying to swing bound now. Ibarra got it heavily. Pull stall here on the ball. On Paco. Paco now. Seven on the shot clock. Got to get something going. Cruz crossover. Pump fakes. Three takes it. And another foul against Uruguay. A push in the back. And that's going to be the third team foul against Uruguay. Trying to find Ibarra, cross court there. Bonilla going baseline, Bonilla trying to go with a sky jump. Can't get it, goes out of bounds. I think they're going to go a foul, gets pull stole. And that's going to be the fourth team foul against Mexico. This will be interesting now. Mexico, no more fouls to give. 
In the lane out, can they get the drop? No, they can't. Mexico still surviving. Still now heavily defended. Step back, three point up. Mexico just trying to get over the final hurdle. Four and a half away from qualifying for the FIBA World Cup. Can they do it? There's a kick out. Another three. Three is up. No good. But nobody for Uruguay going in for an offensive rebound. Mexico, can they hold on to this five point lead? That will be the big question for them. But Mexico have no more fouls to give. Uruguay do have one more foul to give for that matter. Cruz now coming off one screen, trying to split the defense all the way. Cruz can't get it. Stoll misses last three. Can he get this one? No, he cannot. He bought off and it's a rebound. And that's what happens when you take Batista out of the game. We're going to time out now. Let's listen to what Magnano has to say to his players. Well, there's the offensive rebound, the key rebound, of course. Seven to go. Oh, good defense. Another turnover again. Great defensive play by Bonilla. Still now, not only going to shoot the ball, of course. He's now under four minutes. He bat out looking for a post up. And Jaimez now, Bonilla pump fakes. Jaimez goes in, he tries to get the drop, and he can't get it. This is going to be big now. He needs something here. There's a kick out. I should have gone for something there, but. Pauli now coming off one screen. Puts up the shot, gets it with the fadeaway. Well, Mexico now need to respond. Still leading by five. Jaime is under the basket. Too easy. Tucks it away. The 
Jokic. There's a shot in the corner, no good. So Mexico now here, 221 away. Ibarra, too big, too strong, just too good. Mexico on their way. Remember, they haven't made a FIBA World Cup since 2014. Kicks this one out, Rodriguez. 10 of the shot clock, got to get something going. Deep three, can't get it. And now it's the time for Mexico. El Tiempo Mexicano. It's going to be a big, big possession now. They're going to try to make something go. Get it right at the end of the shot clock. And Paco Cruz, he smells it. 12-point lead for the Mexicans. 132 away. Well, this is historic. Remember, Mexico won made it to the FIBA World Cup. Back in 2014, which was in Spain, he didn't qualify for China. And now Magnato calls timeout. He wants to talk it over with his players. It's got to be a big play now. Got to be a big possession. Got to make something count, that's for sure. And that was a deep three by Paco Cruz right at the end of the shot clock. So Uruguay's got to be very quick here. But again, you got to understand Mexico, 132 away for qualifying for the FIBA World Cup. We got to get this ball inbound. They turn it over. Cruz now in transition. And this is going to be a big, big moment now. Mexico, again, feeling everything right now. All the emotion going into this. 125 now for Mexico. Stole now, waiting for the ball screen. Gets his reach in, that's gonna be two free throws here for Mexico. So two pig free throws now, coming for a poor Stole. Stole's gotta make him count now, he's gotta go to work. Stepping up now, big time, making the first one. Well, miss the second one now. There's a 
penetration by Perotti. Perotti goes up off the backboard. Can't get it. Offensive rebound by Batista. Can he finish? Still can't get it. Well, Mexico can start to believe it. They can start to believe. Yes, they can. This is unbelievable. They didn't make it in 2018. Well, 2019, I should say. This is going to be the final possession probably here for Paco Cruz. Seven on the shot clock. I think he's going to let this one run out. Mexico happy to let the shot clock go. And again, they can start to celebrate their moment, their time. Now it's all consolation here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be history again. Congratulations. I repeat, congratulations. Mexico have qualified for the 2023 FIBA World Cup. Mexico declaró para el FIBA World Cup. Vamos Mexico, El Bigate, Daniel Amigo is on the floor with his teammates. They've done it, and look what it means to them. Gabriel Giron, Vamos Mexico, Tiempo para los Mexicanos.